Hi, Patty. How are you? Thank Patty. Oh, teacher. Hello. Hello. I thought I lost you. Hi. How are you, girl? I'm fine. Fine. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't listen so much. Oh, bury me from all my nuts. Uh, can you hear much better? One moment, please. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, creo que tengo falla, pero. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, I estoy ya. Yes, I can oh. listen to you very well. Yes. What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, it's something different here. I don't know. Mm, no. <laughs> no? It's not different? You don't see any difference? Mm, ah, yes. Eh, de, de, no sé cómo se dice. El escenario atrás. Oh, the background. The background. Okay. Yeah, the virtual very background. Very nice. Yeah, we're like, we're just very like, it's nice. cool, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, you know what? I was double checking. What am I going to choose for these guys? No, I'm going to check something like we were in class right now. So basically, I choose a, uh, like a school background, basically. It's okay. Yeah. Um, so I can, you can, you can see me, right? You can, yes, I'm here, yes. I comb my hair, so I'm hopefully a person. Ah, oh, yes, yes, see? <laughs> yeah, you see, I comb my hair today. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know, uh, Eric, I think is here. No, Eric, I think is going to be in the second group. But I had a, a student who said, when I asked my age, she said, oh, teacher, you're 50. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it might look like this. No way. So no way. I decided to to choose a, like a lot different background and to cut my hair right and like make over. So she, I will, I will let her know. You know what? I I'm not young, but I do not look like fifty. <laughs> How old do you think am I? Um, I'm not twenty. I know I'm not twenty anymore. <laughs> I used to be, but not anymore. I don't understand the question. Ah, how old do you think am I? Am I 20, ah. 25, 30? Mm, no, I am 41. 40? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Okay. don't laugh. Don't laugh, Melby, because I will kill you, okay? <laughs> no, I know. No, no, no. Uh, 38? Oh, yes. Yes, I am 38. Oh, yeah, okay. thank you. <laughs> I, I, I told my, my husband is older than me. He's like a nine years and a half older. So I told him, you know what? Because of you, you you transfer or you yeah transmit your age. So that's because he's like, he's going to be 48 this year. Yes. So I told him. Years. Eh, no, no, nine years and a half because I'm 38 and he's 48. Ah, okay. okay. Uh -huh. So I told him, because of you, I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he has, he's going to be 48. I'm 38, so. 38. I am 41 uh, old. You are 41? But yeah. you don't look like. <laughs> I look <laughs> like. Can you imagine? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes. No, no, no. Even though we make up, I, I look like. You know what? I, I do not have wrinkles. You know what wrinkles are? Wrinkles? Wrinkles? No. Um, how do you say? Arrugas? Mm. Wrinkles. Wrinkles, arrugas. Wrinkles. Oh, wrinkles, okay. yeah. I do not have it. I do not mm, have wrinkles. No, no, no. no. Not here, not. Mm -mm. No. No? You see? see? <laughs> Okay. I'm just kidding. Okay, you know what? I thought it's going to be only one on one with you, but I do have already Melvin Velasco who was laughing about our topic of our conversation. <laughs> I yes, he said these girls are really <sighs> all right. <laughs> yeah, woman, women, women always they are so what so worried about age. Come on. Or, yeah, I know. M maybe uh, this is what he was thinking about. Uh, yeah, he said, No way, I'm not thinking about that, but that's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, uh, I also have Carlitos here, I have Daniela, I do have Mr. Umberto, 
Mm -hmm. Very good. I have Helen here. That's good. Melvin, where have you been? We missed you last week. Sorry, my my work was so hard last right. week. Yeah. And the clo the month closing mm -hmm. is very hard. hard. It's tough, right? Yeah, I understand yeah. that. And also the beginning of a new month, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do understand. So that's okay. But we missed you. Sorry. No, that's sorry. Okay. Thank you. Never say sorry, okay? Never apologize. At least let me know something, right? Write me a mess, a teacher, and one will be able to do because blah, 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 blah. And okay. I know what had happened, okay? Because I was worried about you. I thought maybe he got sick. Maybe one of his kids. Oh, thanks. Maybe thanks he, to God. His wife. To God. I don't know, right? Many things thank, could have happened. Thank to God. No, I'm healthy. I'm happy about that. I'm really yes. happy. And you're always smiley, right? Thank you. Yeah, I'm so happy. Hopefully, you have done your homework. You have read the article. Hmm. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll ask you some questions. Don't worry about that. But I have okay. Jose Ramirez here also. Jose Cito, very good. I do have Roberto, Carlitos, and Daniela. There you go. Very good. Hey, guys, how was the, the uh, article? Was it good? How was the article? Tell me. You didn't you didn't read the article? No? Yes, teacher. I, I read but you read it. I, I read it uh, but uh I didn't understand I too. understand a several I words. I know, I know. It was about customs, right? If I'm not mistaken. It was customs, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. awesome. Teacher, I I had I had a, a doubt. You have a doubt, uh, go ahead, yes. Okay. When for example, in, in, in the company, we have a department the, for mm -hmm. logistics. Oh, ah, your logistics department, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they create a lot of custom, mm -hmm. uh, the custom declaration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, the, it's the same word, but it's different. No. Meaning. no, it is the same word, almost the same mm -hmm. word. But the, mini, the customs is, for example, where you need to like go to a fright. Fright, that means flip it. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, there's like a some declaration, some forms. Mm -hmm. Actually, there are like a five pages, I think, because each part where the goods or the items mm -hmm. that you work with has to travel to or have to pass through, each department has to take one sheet with the same information, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Customs that means aduana, okay, all right. But that one, the, the article, it was about, for example, uh, traditions. Coasts are more like traditions. That article, it was about traditions. Traditions mm -hmm. in different countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It was it was a hard article for you guys. Was a hard one. Was it hard or no? Carlitos, Helen. Yeah, some words. Yeah. Some words. No. Mm -hmm. Helen said no. Not for me. Okay. Hopefully not for you. Uh huh. All righty. What about you, Umberto? How was the experience with the article? Hi, teacher. Hi. Well, uh, it 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 was, it was a little bit confused, but mm -hmm. in order to 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 improve our English or reading, it was cool. Mm hmm. It, it, For example, it was, uh -huh. the first of the first of, of second paragraph is mm -hmm. a piece of cake, but <laughs> the third one mm -hmm. is it will be a little bit difficult because I, I, I think that is the four words that I I you do not know I didn't opinion. know mm -hmm. but yeah but the contest I I think that is for logics it's the mm -hmm. same so exactly exactly there you go. So you see that this is, yeah. and, and this article is not too hard, guys. There are a lot of articles that are even harder, okay? Because that article okay. I sent it to you, okay. basically, it is regarding to traditions. In this case, for India, right? Yeah. India and another Asian yeah. uh, countries. Mm -hmm. Mexico, so, mm -hmm. Argentina, Argentina, Japan. Japan, exactly, exactly. So, Right, since you already read the article, what I'm going to do after this class is I'm going to send it to you six questions. 
regarding okay. that article. Basically, it's just for you to um, finish a reading comprehension, okay? And just uh, send it or, or answer it in your own words, exactly. But when you answer that, don't go back to the article, okay? Don't go back to that. You just answer what you remember. That's it. It could be okay. it could be a few words. It could be a long paragraph. It could be one sentence. That's okay for me. But don't go back to the paragraph. That is one. That is one thing that you have to just remember what you read. Why am I doing this? Because there will be some um, um, exams that you will have time to do it, and you don't you won't have time to go back to what you have read. Because you will have like, for example, 100 questions only for that article. So it's really important that right now you start to developing the reading skill by little by little, okay? All right, okay. Okay, Umberto say yes, of course. I know it's Monday, right, Umberto? What a phase. What's going on with the apple? What's going on with the Coke? Huh? What happened? Today it, today is a soup. It's a soup. You made it? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my girlfriend. Oh your girlfriend. Oh my god, that's so lovely from her. That's nice. Uh, but it's not my return, right? No. Uh, it's a ram, ram, ramen soup. It's a ramen soup? Oh my god, yeah. really? Oh that's nice. I also prepare ramen soup. My sister prepares ramen soup from zero. Really? Yeah, and she takes around two days to prepare the ramen soup. From zero. Two From days? Zero. Yes, the real ramen soup, it, it takes a long time. Okay. So from zero, <laughs> to be honest with you. In my case, no. In my case, I do not complicate myself. I just bought like a matter chan soup, <laughs> the flavor that I want. But that would be like the base, right? And uh, the noodles, noodles are, noodles are fideos, noodles. And um, mm -hmm. basically I put everything. I put uh, sh um, shrimp, I put um, eggs, I, uh, boiled eggs, yeah. of course. I put uh, spinach, mushrooms, um, onions, um, carrots, you know what carrots is? Carrot, zanahoria, carrot? Yeah, yeah. zanahoria. Okay, yep. Uh, what else I put? Um, oh, pork. Uh, but everything I, I cook it apart and I put it with a uh, soy sauce and uh, with a uh, sesame oil. When you want sesame oil is, I said to the sesame, no. sesame oil. It's really good. Okay. It's really good. So it's different. I prepare it different, but I know that your your um, well, I'm I I can imagine that your girlfriend cooks really good. So that soup is really delicious, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that it that that is a good soup. No, I mean, but right now your it, it, soup it, is different. It, it, it's it's it, difficult. It. It's delicious, right? Your soup. Yeah, but but in, in this case, mm -hmm. uh, she 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 tries to to make this soup in in a in a easy way. Oh yes, of course, of course. <laughs> but no, but I was telling you that uh that I that I uh um what can I say uh that I imagine that your girlfriend cooks really good. Yeah, she's a great she, chef. She, she cooks. Yeah. There you see, you should be proud of her. She's she's nice. She prepared you the <laughs> dinner. I'm so happy about it. That's great. Excellent. All right. Well, Mr. Umberto just finished his dinner right now. Okay. I'm going to let you okay, continue. Okay, Umberto. That's okay for me. Don't worry about it. Okay. 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 Thanks. Yes, yeah, that's okay. I have a no Amy here. I'm Mr. Fernando. How are you, Fernando? Hello, teacher. Good yeah, night. Good night. It's been a pleasure to have you back. <laughs> okay. Hey, I do have a Christian also. I do have Adela. My other beautiful lady. Hello. Adela. Hello. Hello. Uh, I also have a uh, Noemi who I think she's drinking a cup of coffee. No. Or a tea. I don't know. Oh, a com chamomile tea. A chamomile tea. Oh, that's nice. So you to relax, right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You know what, right now, I love cheese. 
my favorite it's, one is the green tea and the chai tea. That's one of my favorite ones. Ah, it's delicious. Ah, it's delicious. Also the red one and the white one. But um, uh, right now, you know what? Right now, I would love a chai tea. I like to. Ah, yes, I love it. That makes me feel relaxed. If you have a heart presentation, that gets you loud. A load, sorry. And if you have a stomach ache, that helps you a lot. Ah. Yeah, a lot that you cannot imagine. Yes, and I love it. I think after classes, I, maybe I will drink one of them. <laughs> but but around 10, 10 30 p.m. <laughs> because after you, I have another class. So yes, definitely. After you, I have another another group. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, Helen, Helen is. Oh, she has a baby. Ooh, I like it. Is this your baby, Helen? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my name. It's your nephew. <laughs> oh, oh my God. But how how old is he? Six, six, six months. Five weeks. Around. Five, five no, weeks. Five weeks. Yeah. Five weeks. That means one month and one week. Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> Melba, do you remember when your kids were like that age? Ooh. Yes. So uh, cute. So cute, right? And so fragile as well. So fragile, right? That you don't want to hurt them. Yeah. My husband. Exactly. Yes. No, my husband, he, they, he loves kids. But um, if he saw a, a, a baby boy like the, like your nephew, and they, and everybody said, hey, hug him, hug him. And he's like, no. Why? Because he starts sweating. <laughs> swearing because he's so afraid that they're so fragile that he can hurt them. So he said, no way, I better like wait until he gets like five or six months when they're like more solid mm -hmm. so I can hug the baby, mm -hmm. right? But um, right now, no. If he hugs the baby, he needs to lay down on a sofa and he opens his arm, I put the baby and then he's, he started like carrying the baby. But five minutes after he's sweating, sweating. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God. Yes, so be, yeah, he got nervous. He got nervous with, with the little baby borns. With the one that has like five or six months. Yes. After that, yes, because they, they are like more solid, right? They are more solid. The head is more solid yeah. and everything. Yes, but the really baby borns, oh my God, he's so afraid to, to hurt them. That's the reason why. Mm -hmm. But I love them. <laughs> we don't have children. But... Oh my God, yeah. you're so beautiful. Is that your baby girl? Oh. Nephew too. Your nephew? Yes. That's amazing. Six, six, six weeks. Six weeks. Hey, like Helen's, right? No, no. <laughs> no, one like, week more. Yeah. Like one week. Yes. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, I yes. love babies, but whew. It's really babies are so cute. <laughs> they are so cute, but it's really hard to be a parent. <laughs> it's not easy. I, yeah. I love the That's babies why I like other persons. Benefits. Ah, you like other exactly. persons. Babies. Okay. <laughs> well owner is other person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but only baby only human babies, right? No animal babies. No. Human babies. Animals no yet. No way. No jet. No jet. Ah, 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 okay, okay. In the future, maybe. In the future. Maybe. Okay. Talking about animals and everything. Oh, hmm. Hey, tell me, when is the the children's uh, festivity here in El Salvador? It already passed, right? October 1st. October 1st. October 1st is when uh, when Salvadorians celebrate um, what? Children's Day? Children's Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about, uh, I think it's May 1st. What about May 1st? What we Labor celebrate Day. Labor Day. Uh -huh. Labor it's Day. It's when Sailor, Labor okay, Day. when Salvadorian celebrates uh, Labor Day. Mm -hmm. You don't know any other Labor Day for different country that is different from ours? Maybe it's around the world. Eh, no. No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No? Um, no, I know other countries. Uh, for example, in um, United States, is uh, if I'm not mistaken, is the uh, 
17th of September. Let me check. Let me check because uh, I remember that that day was on the day off. <laughs> and I was like, yay! <laughs> Finally, after like nine years. Hey, yeah. Bear with me. Let me check. I do remember that it was my day off. And I remember that it was Monday. So let me check. No. Double, double pay. Yes. And no. Because I, I, um... I work on 15th of July, of the 15th here, of September. So basically like, okay, you have a day off here, you work this, so like match, they merge it. Uh, yes, it was the 14th, <laughs> September the 14th. Yeah, I remember that. Yay. For me, it was a long weekend, yes. <laughs> I, I remember that, that was um, on um, United States. What about um, Mother's Day? What about Mother's Day? May may thing. Uh -huh, most of the mm -hmm. time, I think mm -hmm. in most of the Central American countries, right? May, yes. may ten is in when uh, Mexico Mexico too Mexico uh -huh. too. Uh, Costa Rica, no, I do not remember exactly the date, but I know that is not May ten. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And also, you know what? Not uh, also October first. They do not celebrate children either. I think it's different. I think it's um one day difference i think i'm going to ask my niece and i will give you that that information maybe in the next class okay i will ask her because i do not remember exactly the day mm -hmm. so you see i remember the, the phrase that i use um october what october 10 is when salvadorians celebrates children's day yeah may 1st is when salvadorians or most of the people celebrates Labor's Day, for example. Okay, when? Mm -hmm. Why am I saying that? Mm. Because, guys, today we're going to talk about relative classes. Yes, relative classes. We have a lot of relative classes. Oof. But today we're going to talk about relative classes with when. Okay, when is to, for example, to mention at a specific date or, or put it like emphasis in a specific date that is already been mentioned. That's what we're going to use um, relative class with when, okay? The one that I let you know. Okay, all right. Uh, and also we're going to learn uh, vocabulary. Vocabulary that is really important to learn when we're talking about uh, a specific dates, okay? And also guys, you are going to put uh, in practice your memory. I don't know, maybe if you love to read, that will be easy for you. But if you do not love to read, it is going to be hard. All right, so uh, Adela, I love your picture. Okay, merci, <laughs> merci. Merci, bonjour, ça va aujourd'hui. <laughs> oh, hi, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good and excited. It's Monday. Okay, I, I think only the teacher has energy because everybody's like, <sighs> yes, yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I'll, you know, you can imagine Umberto. Um, it's not that real Umberto. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs> Is she talking to me, by the way? Is she talking about me? Yes. And uh, now is the real Umberto. Uh, yeah, uh, Umberto always smiles, but today he was like, mm, like that. I think because he's eating. Right now, when we are like like cars, right? When cars get engine and gasoline, he's like faster. So right now, when we eat, we have more energy. So the food is our, other, our other gasoline. Reason, uh, yes. Other reason could be that today is Monday. Today is Monday. So. The body knows that it's Monday. Yes. <laughs> I know that. Mm -hmm. It's the first day of the week. But don't worry, you're not going to sleep yeah. with me. No way. And we have Sammy, we have Daniela, we have Catherine, and we do have Wendy also. Okay. We do have a lot of people here. Excellent. Should sing, by the way. All righty. So let the party start. Okay. There you go. Bear with me for a couple of minutes if you do not mind. All righty. I'm going to share right now my screen. Okay, guys, remember that the relative classes that we're going to talk about today 
It will be really nice. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Uh -huh. Let me share right now my screen. Yes, teacher, there you go. I have it here. Where is it? Okay. Bear with me because this one, it needs to get like, pop it up. There you go. There you go. Okay, cool. That's what I want. You have to go back. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm going to search it and to share it. The teachers, they say, okay, teacher sometimes speaks by herself. Yes, I know. I'm like Shakespeare, so don't worry about that. And sometimes it's crazy. All righty. Very good. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Yes. Yeah, very yes. good. Okay, so what will be today's topic? Relative clauses. Relative clause. The clause of what? Of, of time. Time. Very good. Okay, so the one that we're going to focus is when. Okay? When. When that happens. When something happens. When do we use the relative clause? Can you please be so kind to read it for me, the one who is sleeping? Jose, go ahead. <laughs> Can you read it for me, Jose? Uh, okay. I try. Do your best. Oops. Relative. Oh my clauses God. of time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh huh. Referred? Uh huh. Excuse me, that I uh, my internet uh, can uh, see uh, clear. Oh, the, okay. The, the words. All right. Uh, who can help me, Melody? Yeah. What about you? Okay. Relative clauses of time refer to a time, date, mm -hmm. or moment previously mentioned. It. Exactly. Exactly. Remember, guys, that we were talking about Labor Day, right? That was a time. Mm -hmm. It was a date, right? We are talking about uh, Mother's Day, uh, Children's Day. So we already know that, right? Okay, but we use when, guys, to explain what, what happens in that specific date. And that part is what we call relative clause of time because we need to know exactly the time that that moment or that date happens. Am I make myself clear? Hello? Hello, yes. hello, yes, of course, that's yes. yes. Okay, guys, yes. th for that, we need to talk about uh, uh, many things and there's some vocabulary that we need to learn. Okay, for example, repeat after me, anniversary. 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 Very good, okay. Cake. 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 Cards. 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 Dancing. 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 Fireworks. Fireworks. Flowers. 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 Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Parade. 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 Party. 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 And also you can say party, okay? Party. 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 Presents. 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 Take a look at these. We're not in this one, we're not talking about the the time of, that is present, right? We're talking about a gift. So that means that's yeah. why we pronounce presence. presence. Okay? Presence. Okay. Presence. Rose turkey. Rose turkey. Rose turkey. Wedding. 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 Okay, guys, from this particular vocabulary, if there's any brand new word for you, any brand new word for you guys? Birthday. Oh, Mm -hmm. Ross. Oh, parade. 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 No, let me is um, desfile. Parade. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. My pleasure. Any and other one, guys? Is, yes. What is the meaning of Ross? Rust. Yes. Rust turkey. Pavo tos horneado or rostizado. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Any other one, guys? Okay. Parade, parade, parade. Parade, Melvin, is the Philly. Like the 15th of September? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yes. Well. Okay. All right. Thank what you. else? You're welcome. Any other one, guys? What about fireworks? Fireworks. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Fuegos artificiales. Any other one? Are we okay? Hello, Houston, we have a problem here. Yes, go ahead, Helen. Okay. Can you go back to the to the previous for the this one? Concept for the concept? Yeah. Yes, of course. Because I can see on, on my computer, so I connected from my, my cell phone. All right, and cool. I to write it. Okay. That's okay, not a problem. Thank you, thank you. You're more than welcome. Let me know when you have finished, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Day or moment. Mm -hmm. Previously mentioned it. Okay, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Helen. All right, guys. So let's move on. All right. Okay, guys, now it's going to be your turn. I'm not going to help in the pronunciation, okay? One, two, three, go. The first one, please. Very good, very good, excellent. Okay, guys, those are really important vocabulary because of depends of that date that you are talking about, you're going to use that vocabulary or not. For example, uh, Melvin, when is your anniversary? February 14. Yes. February 14, you said? Yes. Okay. Okay. February. Whoops, sorry for that. February. February 14th. Guys, remember that if you're talking about dates, you have to use the ordinal numbers, okay? And we have TH at the end, okay? Because it's 14th. Okay, don't rem don't forget that. 14th. February 14th. Okay, I okay, let me go back and, and write down the question that I asked Melvin. I said, Melvin, oops, teacher, why? I think I'm hungry because I'm eating letters. Okay. <laughs> when is your anniversary? That's what that that was the, the question that I made. Okay, when is your anniversary? All right. Okay, he answered February 14. That's what you said, is that correct, uh, Melby? It's, cor it's correct. Okay, guys, so do you remember that the uh, clause of verb or the re relative clause that of time that we're going to use, it is when, is that correct? Yes. yes. All right, okay, so. How can we use this relative clause when with the information of Melvin's anniversary? Okay. Don't worry. We can say it. Okay. We can say February 14th is when Melvin, whoops, Melvin is proper name, so we need to put it in capital letters. When Melvin celebrates his anniversary you see that okay you see here in this one i put you see when i put it right i put this one when where is the relative clause here guys where is it here you see when yeah. i put the information about Melvin's if wedding. 
He said February 14. Okay, so am I going to, how am I going to make a sentence using a relative clause when? Simple. We put the day that we're talking about. Hey guys, and listen carefully. What type of verb is this? What type of verb? What verb is this? Is it present? Yeah, verb to be. In present, in past, or in future? Present. Present. And why am I using is and not are or am? Because it's a date. It's a date. Okay, and a date was is he, she, or it? It's it. Exactly. Okay, yeah, most of the time, guys, let me, uh, let me let you know that when we're talking about relative classes, most of the time, uh, or relative classes of time, in this case, this is the one that we're learning, uh, we use the verb to be, okay? Most of the time. I think like um, 90%. Okay, so you said, you put that first, the date, guys, then we have the verb to be, then we have the when, in this case, a relative class, and then we have the complement. Okay, let me write it down the formula, okay? Let me write it down. We get the date plus verb to be plus relative clause. In this case, it's when, right? Well, I'm going to put when plus complement. That is exactly the formula here. Okay? There you go. All right. Any, uh, let's practice it or something else. Uh, mm -hmm. Guys, do you remember when is the Thanksgiving day? No? 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 Nobody knows that? Yes. November 22? November, November 25. Mm -hmm. 22? Mm -hmm. November 22? Mm -hmm. It's the last Thursday of November. Wow, that's my girl! Uh huh. Thanksgiving. Exactly. This, this year will be Thursday, 26 of exactly. November. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, that uh, Thanksgiving, as Adela said, is the last Thursday of November. Doesn't matter what date. Okay? So you said, uh, when is Thanksgiving Day? Okay. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay, tell me, guys, guys, and... What do they, what do we do in Thanksgiving? I don't know here. Do, do you celebrate Thanksgiving here? No. No. Mm. But have you heard or have you seen or have you read what do people do thanks in Thanksgiving? What do they do? Yes. Usually, usually roast they turkey. Roast turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Roast turkey. A what family else? Dinner. Celebrate with the family. Mm-hmm. Quiero ver. Last Thursday. Okay, that Thursday of uh, November. Woohoo. Is when people celebrates and celebrates it and and share with their family, right? Yeah. With their family, with their family and friends. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. There you go. Okay, guys. So do you see how we use it? Okay, let me go back and click on that. There you go. Okay. Okay, you see, guys, we have the date here, right? We're talking about last Thursday of November. We're talking about as Thanksgiving. Here we have the relative clause, okay? So, guys, basically, we use the relative clause of time to explain a when a date 
it happens and what happens in that date, okay? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Is it clear, guys? Yes. Yes, right, easy, yes. easy, right? Yes, especially yes. with Melvin's example, come on. It's playing, I'm sorry, it's playing when and where else? What? I'm sorry, you know, I mean, do you, can you please repeat it to me, your question? The clothes is when, is playing when the success. Exactly. And when the success. And, and also, what do you do there? So, okay. Thank oh, you. oh, exactly. What, what activities? Okay. Okay. okay thank you. My pleasure. Let's continue with that. All right. Okay, guys. I have here examples of days, okay? of a specific dates. We have New Year's Day, we have April Fool Day, we got May and June, we have Valentine's Day, did I make a mistake because it's supposed to be A, Labor Day and February, okay? So tell me, hey guys, I will make, a, I will correct. This is going to be A, okay? It's not E, it's A. Okay, so tell me guys, a New Year's Day is a day when? When we do what? A New Year's Day, el, 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 el nuevo año, o el día del, del año nuevo. The New Year's Day is, a, is mm -hmm. when? It's a day when? Take, 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 oh, take day off right, oh. in, in uh -huh. work. Okay, so uh, very good, Melvin. So now I want you to mention the whole sentence. It started a new, with a new day. A new Year's mm -hmm. A New Year's Day is a day when we take a day off in our, in our work. A day off in our work. All right, that's great. Exactly. Yes, we don't. We do not go right. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Exactly. Great job, Melody. What about April Fool's Day? You know what that means? Innocent. Exactly. Fool is tonto in, in English, in Spanish. Pero es el día de los inocentes. Usually it's on April, right? So what happened in, in April, in Fool's Day? People April. make uh, jokes. jokes. People make only jokes? Or what about tricks? Tricks. Uh, tricks? Yeah, to, tricks? To who? To who? I can't. To who? Friends and family. To family? Only two family? Friends. No, and friends. Friends. And friends, exactly. Yeah. So, can you please be so kind, Danny, Danny to read for me the whole sentence? April Fool's is a day when people make joy tricks to the family and friends. Aha, uh -huh, but you forget that because you didn't mention Fool's Day. Again. April Fool's Day is mm -hmm. a day when people make jo jokes tricks mm -hmm. to the family and friends very good excellent exactly what about may and june what happens in may and june guys uh-huh any idea i don't know may. Yes, a mother is a day of the it's a mother day and father's day ah very good <laughs> it's when salvadorians right salvadorians celebrate uh-huh. Mother and Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day. Mother and Father's Day. Very good. Excellent. All right. What about Valentine's Day? Uh -huh. I want to hear Sammy. I want to hear Catherine. What happened? Uh -huh. Fernando. When the people say yes, no. the love. Uh-huh. When people mm -hmm. say love another person. When, leave, when people express... I express, express the their love. love, their love for other persons, other persons. For, for other ones, for other okay. ones. Okay. Anything else, guys, that you want to add to this uh, celebration? Valentine's Day is, is a day when, when girls have to give present for his boyfriends. Really? Yeah. Ah, and maybe the opposite as well. <laughs> oh yeah okay very good what about labor day okay what about labor day guys Dia del trabajo, labor day other, other day off 
Uh, uh, no, 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 no. But think about another one. Come on, Melvin. <laughs> All right. When people, when people make parades. When people make parades. Who said that? Ah, who said that? Can dijo eso? Who said that? Humberto. Ah, when people make parades. Uh huh. What else? What else? Labor eh? rights. Recognize the Labor Day for, for people. Uh -huh. Okay. Recognize what? Recognize their rights. Le labor rights. Uh huh. Their, their rights. Mm -hmm. Their labor rights, right? The labor rights. What else? What else, guys? What else, Sami? Many people don't work, maybe. Uh huh. Many people don't work. Okay, etc. Right? We have a lot of things. What about guys? February is a month when? Uh huh. International celebrates some Valentine. Some Valentine. Okay. Who said that? Sami. Mm hmm. Or no? Who said that? Can dijo eso? Who said that? I. I don't know because I cannot see you right now. Te puedo ver. Christian. Ah, Christian. Uh -huh. All right. Very good, Christian. When in most of the countries, in most of the countries, people, people celebrate what, Christian? Mm -hmm. Valentine. Celebrate some Valentines. Okay, very good. Val all right, very good. Very good, guys. Excellent. There you go. You see, you're really smart. Excellent. There you go. Okay. So you see, guys, when or oh, how do we use relative clause when? Ven como se usa? Yes? Yes. Okay. Pero ven que interesante. Vamos a poner un ejemplo. Mm. This one, okay, this one, this one. I'm going to put this one really quick. Let me put it again, this one, Labor Day. When, no, I hear this one. It's going to be this one. When um, people have a day off. That's what uh, <laughs> Mr. Melvin said, right? Okay, so do me a favor. Uh, mm -hmm. Think about the first sentence, this first sentence, guys. Take a look at this first sentence. This is a relative clause okay. when, is that right? Is that right, yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. all right. Okay. Tell me something. Here, we have one idea. Idea number one. And here we have our idea number two. Okay, do me a favor. Uh, if I read only a New Year's Day is a day, do, does it have a meaning? ¿Tiene significado? Si solo le leo la primera no. parte without when? No. Uh -huh. Okay, what about no Noemi? Read for me de, de donde dice when, when people. When people have a day off. Ajá. ¿Tiene, uh, tiene uh, más significado que la primera? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, guys, in relative clauses, we have two sentences. Usted se fija, two ideas. Que when las une. This one is what we call the main idea. Why? Because, porque, alone, sola, has a meaning, tiene significado, all right? Pero this one, en este caso, la number one, nosotros la conocemos como subordinate, subordinada. Why? Because that sentence alone, esa oración sola, doesn't mean anything. No significa nada. Doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido, okay? Para que tenga sentido, I need to use the relative clause to express what happens or what will we do in a specific date 
or a specific time mentioned. Hoy sí, ¿me entienden? Is it clear, guys? ¿Estamos bien? Any yeah. questions right now? Are you sure? No questions? No. Are you sure? I think somebody has a questions. Okay, let me give you an example. Take a look at this example. Who can help me read it? Um, let me check. Sammy, could you please be so kind to read for me that example, the one that is below the numbers? Hi, Sammy. February, hi. Mm -hmm. February 14th is the date when people give cards to the ones they love. Very good, exactly. Like Noemi said, right? Hey, guys, take a look. In this sentence, in this first sentence that we're talking about, this one. Okay, do me a favor. Can you please identify? We need to identify the relative clause. We have it. When, right? Mm -hmm. what, right. Day, what day we're talking about? February 14. February 14, exactly. We have here the date. All right, very good. Excellent. And we have the bird to be. Is that right? It's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So if I said February 14, does it mean something? Significa algo? No. But Sammy, can you please read for me the day on the when people? When people give cards to the ones they love. Exactly. ¿Qué significa para ti? What does it mean for you? Solo esa, ese pedazo. Just that sentence, uh, when people give cards to the ones they love, mm -hmm. uh, don't have sense because don't have a context. Mm -hmm. But if we are talking about a specific date, it's about uh, Valentine's Day. Exactly, exactly. So guys, this is really important. Vean esto, yeah? That's why this one, guys, is the main clause, la importante, and February 14 is subordinada, porque necesita de esta con el relative clause mm -hmm. para tener sentido. Mm -hmm. Si no, doesn't make sense at all. Sí? Por eso es que les puse ese ejemplo. Um, let me check. Helen, could you please be so kind to read for me the second sentence new year's eve is a night when i have fun with my friends mm -hmm. new year's eve is a night when i have fun with my friends exactly muy bien new year's eve si tú dices new year's eve new year's eve pero tú dices new year's eve new year's eve what right you need more information what you are trying me to to say con el el, el día o, o la víspera de año nuevo la víspera de año nuevo que i need more information That's why you put when in, when. in give extra information. Because it, you need more than the, the, the data you mentioned. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes or no? Yes. Any questions, guys? Yeah? Okay, cool. No. All right. Yes. yes, questions or no questions? No questions. No questions. All right, guys. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be your homework. Uh, tomorrow, guys, we're going to talk about adverbial clauses of time because this is different. We have to talk about relative clauses of time, and tomorrow we're going to talk about adverbial clauses of time, which is something else. It's not the same. It could be similar, but it's not. <laughs> exactly. So this class is going to be interesting. That's the today, yes. Yeah. As today. <laughs> All right. Do me a favor. Any questions right now that you may have? No? No. Which, right. which could be other clauses time? Uh, another like when? Most of the time we use when. Because we're when. when just okay. when. Just when right now. Mm -hmm. But I will let you know. Oh, right now, guys, do me a favor be before I, I let you go. Uh, I'm going to send through the WhatsApp some information that is really important for you to have. Okay, the information that I'm going to send is going to be for today's topic and also for tomorrow's topic. Okay, so you will have like the writing activity for you to practice at home. Okay, that's what I'm going to send it to you. So, bear with me for a couple of minutes.
that's because I have it here. <laughs> Where may I have it here? Yes, I have it here. Let me check if I have it really quickly. Let me check. There you go. I think it's this one, that one that I have. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh yes, this is the one I'm going to send it to you right now. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. And I want to know if you can receive it. Because I just want to know that if you're able to receive it or not. Let me check it out. I need to open that WhatsApp right now really quickly. Just let me know, guys, as soon as you're able to receive it. And if you can see it clearly or not, that's what I want. Because basically, I will send it to you guys at different dates. Maybe you know them, maybe you don't. But uh, that's why you can make your investigations. Or also, I think you can use your knowledge as well. All right. So, there you go. Relative clauses, clauses, clause of time. Mm -hmm. All right, I send it to you. To, could you please be so kind to let me know if you receive it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is exactly what yes, I sure. want. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's what I want right now. That you can uh, practice a little bit the relative clause. And uh, let me check. Mm -hmm. Let me check if I can send it to you really quickly. <laughs> no, I'm not going to send it to you right now, the verber of clause, because for one reason. Okay, don't worry. I'm, it's going to be only the um, relative clause of time. That's it. But I'm going to send it to you something really important as well. And just for you to have it helling also about the definition, the definition of that. Okay, I think the Thank definition you. is going to be in Spanish and in English as well, so you can have it. Okay, that will be the definition. All righty, very good. And tomorrow, guys, we're going to start the other build of uh, classes. Okay, so please do me a favor, please study. Study because it's going to be. It's not. It's not complicated. It is not, but uh, it it could be a little bit confused for you because they're quite similar, but they're not the same. And we use a different uh, expressions. For example, things is one of them. There is another one that we use. Also, we use uh, after, before. Until, while, etc. Okay. Okay, guys. That will be all for today. Teacher, and it's only five minutes. But don't worry, we can spend time together. Five minutes, five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes to talk about um, how do you feel in the course, any questions, any doubts, anything that you consider that we can improve, any comments? That, um, yes, teacher, sure. I had, I had yes. a question. Go ahead. Uh, I, <coughs> Go ahead. I log in into the, into the <coughs> website to complete some, some tag in, in but uh, when I I yes. log in. I yes. found two two course assigning. Uh -huh. uh, I, I tried to complete uh, section one, two, mm -hmm. but in, uh, I had another another course with zero uh, advance. It's zero without, advance. Yes. Okay. I had two two course assigned to two, my user. Two co okay. So that is the, a technical the, issue. Is a, okay. Okay. That's a technical issue. So do me a favor. Uh, do you have Jonathan's in, uh, information? Mm -hmm. In my email? Yes, please get in touch with him because that is something that we need to like. Okay. Text. Okay, especially that is nothing to do with the platform. That is something to do with your user. So definitely 
we need to double check about that. But tell me, how is uh, the other, um, your progress in the platform? Any doubts that you have, guys? Tell me, how was your midterm? Yes. I have a problem. Go ahead, Noemi, what happened? I, I don't remember the exercise 3.8. Maybe it's an audio about the... the Carnival? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, me too, me too. Me too, okay. I, I think the same problem. I think, <laughs> I think we have time to listen, so don't worry I, about I, it. I, I, I complete, but, but, uh, teacher, I complete I, the I sentences the several times with, uh -huh. with different words, but always the system show all yes. are incorrect. Uh, okay, don't That's worry. Yes. This is the problem. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So don't worry. I'm. We'll, I will, we're going to um to listen it. I will have time for that, and then we can make sure and we can do it together. Okay. That's going to do it. Yes, right? please. Teacher, All right. I I, yes. I find I found in in mm -hmm. internet the the translation of this exercise. The translation. I read. I read yeah. The, the right. Uh huh. I read. And I understand the saying when I hear, but the answer is wrong all the time. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I know what you're I talking about. I don't know about. what is the problem. Ah, don't worry about it. I will help you. <laughs> because I, I understand. You understand, okay. But let but me double check. I don't know the answers. Okay, don't worry. We're going to do I it together. The story. That's okay. Don't worry. I will help you. Okay, let me check just... Uh... Let's put it the listening part and then we can do it together, okay? Okay. Are you able to, to see it, to listen? Yes. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. yes. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? I like it. Isn't that music fantastic? Yes, it's it from is. a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because mm. hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very <coughs> friendly, mm -hmm. especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the street. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever okay, have a chance. Very good. Okay. So tell me. Okay, what is a Carnival? It's a big party. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? It's, it's a, a party. party. It's a party. Exactly. So you can answer like this. Bear with me. And I will, I will be right now with you. I'm going to put it in the chat. Okay. So you can answer in different ways. But the first one you can say party. But the first I put party t-shirt. Would you put with P, capital P? I don't remember, but I uh -huh. it's a party. Yeah, I no, no, it's a party. P, 
party with capital P and period party. and period at the end of the party. Because I, that's uh, what I was yeah. do you remember? The, uh, do you remember that if you forget punctuation, is going to be wrong? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's why I, I emphasize here punctuation because punctuation is really important, guys. Really, really important. Oh my god. Uh -huh. That's why. Second one is four days. Period. For all four days. All that. Ah uh, <laughs> no. That. Uh, no, the second one, okay, how long does it last, you said? Four days? Four, four, four days. days. Four whole days. Okay, so, four, you, four days. so if you said four, of course, guys, you are beginning a sentence, so you have to put four in capital letters. Yes. And then you put days, and then don't forget the dot at the end of the sentence. You can put four days, but if you're missing the period, it's going to be wrong. Definitely. Okay. Okay, uh, what about number three? What is number three? Mm -hmm. I don't remember the question. You don't remember the question? When is when, it? When it is, when is happened. When it happens. Okay, so when it happens, do you remember that? Um, late February and okay. early March. March. Uh -huh. March. Mm -hmm. So you can say always capital letters, right? It's on late February because you're talking about a month. You need to put February in capital letters. Or on late February. Or, or first, no, it's on late February or March, right? Or early March, right? Okay. Okay. There you go. So if you put it's you gotta put I in capital letters, you gotta put the comma, apostrophe S, it's space on late. February is the name of a month, so you have to put it in capitalized, all right? March is a month, so it has to be in capitalized as well, M, and then that at the end of the sentence. Okay. I think that's, that's why a, um, that happens, right? I think so. And number four, was, what, what is number four? What is samba? What what I is think. samba, guys? What is samba? I think he said it's a city. Dance. No, that is not a city. A music fantastic. A music. It is not. It's no. not a music. It's like. It's a, a dance. The dance. Dance. Oh, no. You said a dance. There you go. So if you put capitalized and if you put that at the end of the sentence and. Check, take a look at the, at the spaces, right? Porque si usted da A, doble espacio, dance, punto, le va a salir mal. A, espacio, dance, punto. Yes? Very good? Yes. 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 ¿Le salió o no le salió? Number four, yes, a dance, but number three, no. Number, así como se lo escribí, it's mm -hmm. on late February or early March. Ponga, ponga M mayúscula. February, March. F mayúscula. Yes. ¿Y el punto? Yes. ¿Los espacios? Yes. ¿Apóstrofe? Yes. ¿El it mayúscula? ¿El I? Yes. Bye. Le digo porque yo ya lo tengo. I will send it to you right now, guys. Okay. On late February. Okay, I send it to you already through the WhatsApp. But I got everything right. So you need to double check. ¿Qué, qué está haciendo usted? Something, you're doing something that is not good. Okay, okay. Then Erase it and put it again. Yeah. And if it still doesn't work, let me know. Guys, it's time to say goodbye. Hi, yes, thank yes. you. Yeah, thank my you. pleasure. And if you still have the problem, let me know. Okay, send it to you. Hopefully not. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank My you. pleasure. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.